Hey guys, Jason Abrams here at Frameworks That Work. What does the economy do? How do I watch it? And how do I know what's gonna happen next? That way I can be the economist of choice for my customers. It's a great question. It was in the chat. By the way, ask a question in the chat and get an answer. That's how this goes. Here's the first dial that you have to look at. I think of this as dials. This one here is unemployment. Unemployment matters. When people don't have jobs, they don't have money, which then leads to the next one, which is gonna be GDP, the gross domestic product. What's happening there? Which by the way, if people have too much money, that leads to the next one, which is inflation. And once we have inflation, we can never forget that we are in the real estate business. And down here, we watch housing values. So cool. Let's talk about it. What are the numbers? Remember, the path is in the math. So anytime you have uncertainty, it's because you're not sure of the numbers. Knowing the numbers provides you certainty. That's the same in anything in life. If you wanna lose weight, you gotta know how many calories you're eating, and then you have to know how many you're burning. You wanna make more money? You gotta know the numbers that drive it. You wanna understand the economy? It's really easy. Unemployment. Ideally, when we talk about unemployment, and by the way, spoiler alert, there's different ways to think about these numbers. The numbers that I'm gonna give you are the ones that I'm watching on a regular basis. When it comes to unemployment, I wanna see 6% or less. For all practical purposes, that's employed in this country. These are the people that want a job, 6% or less. GDP, I want it to be going up. Remember, when it goes down for two consecutive quarters, then we got a problem. We call that thing, at least I do, a recession. I want to see GDP 2% or more. When it starts getting into three or four, we start getting hot, and I mean real hot, and that sometimes leads to inflation. And I want to see 2% or less. As long as inflation is at 2% or less, I feel good. Now, depending on when you're watching this right now, today, and I know you're never supposed to do this on YouTube, but I'm gonna just tell you, it's closer to seven or eight, which is why everything feels so darn expensive. And then housing values across the country. I wanna see housing values nationwide going up by about 4% per year over the last 30 years. That's the average. These are the numbers, 6224. You look up every day and know these numbers and you're gonna know what happens next. You wanna be the next no Tradamus, here's what you do. You watch these numbers every day, and as soon as you start to see one of them get out of balance, that's when the economy is about to change. Friends, that's the economy in a minute and a half or less. Thanks for watching. Like, like it. Like, you show me another YouTube video where someone explained the entire economy in two and a half minutes or less. I haven't seen it, and don't tell me to stop yelling. I'm passionate, that's what we call it. Like the video and subscribe and click here. I got so much more of this. Imagine how many of these you could watch in an hour. You'll be the smartest person you know.